I'm Josh Milton, and this is Shell Point Today for Thursday, October 2nd. On today's show, grab your partner, because here we go for some square dancing to maximize your health, some additions to the therapy program at the Pavilion, and how they'll benefit you, and maintaining security for your financial and personal information in today's Fine Mark Minute. But first, the Spot Play Readers, under the direction of Ruth Duber, take to the stage for their 10th season starting today. The group gathers twice a month to read plays ranging from new authors to the classics. You can join the group on the first and third Thursday of the month at 1.15 in the Osprey Room on the island. A favorite game of many of the residents here at Shell Point is the subject of a new class from the Academy. Mahjong Basics Session 1 gets underway today and runs every Thursday through November 20th. Mahjong is a great way to stimulate the brain and enhance the educational dimension of your life quest. The class is being offered from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the country kitchen on the second floor of the arbor. Mary Jane Atkinson of Parkward, Karen Lieberlees of Eagles Preserve, and Mac Nichols of Eagles Preserve will be presenting the class. It's 8.50 if a playing card is needed and signups are required. For more information or to sign up for any of the activities we've talked about, stop by the Island Service Desk in the Resident Activity Center on the island or call 454-2282 or the Woodland Service Desk at 454-2054. Well, when you think about dancing, many of you probably think of a waltz or a foxtrot or perhaps even the mambo. But did you know that the square dance is one of the most popular dances in the world? Square dancing is the official dance of nearly two dozen states here in the U.S. And now you too can venture into the world of square dancing with two Health Connections classes beginning next Monday, October 6th at the Health Club on the island. Here with more on these programs are Resort Services and Wellness Manager Mary Franklin and Instructor Wes Morris. I'm Mary Franklin here with a wonderful Health Connection program that will do -si do yourself to good health. I'm here today with square dance instructor Wes Morris, who is going to be offering two programs in the Health Connection, beginner square dancing and square dancing in general. These classes will take place October 6th through November 24th, every Monday night. The beginner's class will start at 6 p.m. and run to 7.30, and then the regular square dancing class starts at 7.30 and runs till 9 p.m. It will take place in the Island Health Club. Let's welcome Wes Morris to Shell Point. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Thank you very much. Now, the square dancing activity group has been taking place here for a while at Shell Point, and you came out as a guest one night with them back in the spring and they loved it so much they told me about it and we're going to be bringing you back for square dancing we put your program in the health connection because it's a lot more than just learning square dancing correct right it sure is yeah what else do you touch on when you're there that you don't even realize dancing mainly yes and while they're dancing they're learning right it's a it's a it's a learning process set to music yes and even when the folks are standing, say, still, they're still tapping their feet and enjoying themselves. And it's very social. You get your heart rate up. You work on your flexibility and your agility. So there's a lot of different things that take place with the benefit of learning square right. dancing at right. the end. Now, Wes... You have an amazing background. You're, you're just not somebody who picked up square dancing yesterday. Tell the residents a little bit about your experience. And, you know, folks, he even has his own 45. It's still around. He's done his own calling. And this is just one of his recordings. Tell us about your experience. I started, I, my wife uh, asked me to come out to square dance lessons with her. This is like 47 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I'll, I'll give it a try. <laughs> and typical guy responds. Typical guy. And I went out and I got hooked on it. I, I, I liked the square dance. And uh, uh, after I had, uh, we had graduated from a square dance class, uh, we had enrolled our children in a 4-H group to learn how to square dance. And... Uh, the uh, instructor, uh, I shouldn't really 
cast disparaging remarks. Well, he wasn't the best. And my wife said, you know, you could really do a lot better than that. Mm -hmm. And I said, I, I, you know, really. But anyway, I started teaching a square of children in my basement. <laughs> And that's where it took off from. Okay. So I've been doing uh, actively teaching square dancing for over 45 years now. Okay. And you belong to a couple of associations. So you really keep yourself at the top right. of your game. Um, I'm going to list these off. The American Colors Association, the Florida Colors Association, and Suncoast Colors Association. You're also certified collar instructor by the Board of Director of American Collars. And you've been featured caller at Square Dance Weekends, festivals, and conventions all over the United States. Right, right. I have to brag on you because okay. you're not going to brag on yourself. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> We've got, we're lucky to have you here. So we're offering the two um, sessions. How do you know if you should sign up for the beginner square dancing or just square dancing? If you have never square danced before or, say, you haven't square danced since high school or grammar school, I would say sign up for the beginners. Mm -hmm. And we will teach you from the very beginning uh, the basic figures of square dancing. You'll be mm -hmm. dancing as you are learning. We don't have a lot of walkthroughs or a lot of time when you're standing around listening to me. Mm -hmm. You're actually dancing the figures as you're learning the figures. Mm -hmm. If you have square dance before at what we would call club level, mm -hmm. Or if you uh, have taken a series of lessons and you say you're, you're rusty at it, you haven't danced in quite a few years, then I would say the other group is a group for you. Okay. Well, that's good. And, um, of course, wear comfortable shoes that you can dance in. Right. In, in your... Sneakers are tough to dance mm -hmm. in. They're hard on your knees. Right. Try and wear a, a shoe that you can glide on the floor with. Okay. Okay. Uh, fashion doesn't matter. No. As a matter of fact, I, most of the ladies, I would say, do not wear high heels. Right. Right. But unlike ballroom dancing, you know, square dancing is a little different. Okay. It's, you have to do a lot of walking. Right. Okay. And, um... You know, we be great if you could sign up with a partner, but if you don't have a partner, you can. You're okay if they sign up. Two females sign up, and right. one decides to take the male role, one takes the the, the right. female role. But you're okay with that, I'm and with everybody that. can sign up and enjoy it. Right. And you know, to Shell Point residents too, they can always call the service desk if they can't find a partner, and we can match them up. As That'd well. be fine. Okay. That would be fine. All right. Well, the sessions for eight weeks, eight sessions is just $40. So what a great opportunity for our residents to either learn something new or to freshen up on their skills. Right. Okay. Well, Wes, thank you for being here today. Thank and you. Thank you. And if you want, do -si do down to the service desk and sign up today for either of these square dancing classes. Once again, it runs October 6th through November 24th, and um, the cost is $40 for all the sessions, and sign-ups required. It will be take place in the Island Health Club. I'm Mary Franklin for the Health Connections, along with Wes Morris. Grab your partner, swing them round and round, and make it a happy and healthy day. do -si do and away we go. Sounds like a couple of fun and exciting classes that'll really get the blood flowing, heart pumping, and it's really a beneficial part of your life quest. Also of great benefit for many of you is the work done in the therapy program at the Larson Pavilion. Recently, some of the staff at the Pavilion became certified in two new programs that will be a plus for our residents. Sherry Brown, Director of Long-Term Care at the Pavilion, spoke with CJ Galata, Rehabilitative Services Manager, about the new certifications and what they mean for you. Hello, I'm Sherry Brown, Director of Long-Term Care and the licensed uh, administrator in the Larson Pavilion. I am so excited to be here today with Christine Gulata, CJ, also known as CJ, the director of our therapy programs. And um, we have some really exciting new programs, new certifications that we would like to share with you. So CJ, talk to me a bit about what's happening in therapy and the most recent certifications. 
Okay, well, I'm very excited to say that, first of all, for our speech therapist, she is now certified in a program called LSVT Loud. Um, that is a program that's specific for Parkinson's and sometimes other neurological disorders. And LSVT stands for? Lee Silverman Voice Therapy. And it's a special protocol. It's 16 visits total, four times a week for four weeks. But the research shows that there's good outcomes for up to two years after on voice quality. So we're very excited to bring that to our program and to the residents of Shell Point. Wonderful. Well, I'm looking forward to more opportunities, other residents in the pavilion and, and their quality of, of speech and their communications capability. Absolutely. Talk to me a little bit about another certification that has recently been acquired. Well, I'm also aqua therapy certified. This is a new certification um, achieved this summer. It is a, a, a test that I had to pass in order to indicate that I am able to deliver aquatic therapy and understand aquatic therapy to the standards of the industry. So safety, treatment implementation, and program development. And I know you've been having a lot of success in the pool. Yes, we've been able to share a few stories of success with um, Shell Point, and we continue to see great results with pain relief, um, with strengthening, with people getting back into mobility, and it's really exciting to be able to see them continue on in the new pool. It is exciting to see um, people progress, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And we have some new opportunities that we look forward to in our programming. Yes. Is I, there any to be forthcoming that you'd like to allude to? Yes, I will be attending a conference in Nashville, w listening to a seminar that is put on by a physical therapist who has done some specialized programming just for long-term care. And I am hoping to get some really exciting program for the pavilion related to aquatic therapy after that uh, conference. I'm already working on a couple of things, but I'm really excited to keep it moving along. Well, any new programs that we develop are always for the benefit of our residents. And you can see in CJ the excitement that she brings not only to aqua therapy, but to all of our rehab program. It's, it's catching and a wonderful team effort in finding ways for functional improvements for our residents. Thank you. So I'm really proud of that, CJ. So if you're a new resident or you've been here at Shell Point and you have some questions about programming in rehab or in other parts of the Larson Pavilion, we're actually going to be conducting a special informational event on October 23rd, which is a Thursday, beginning at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, the getting the scoop on the Larson Pavilion will be sharing some wonderful Love Boat ice cream and it's an RSVP request for this event. So if you're interested, please call Randa Lee at 415-5432 to put your reservation in. We'll look forward to seeing you then, and thanks, CJ. Thank you. Thanks again for watching us. Thank you, Sherry and CJ. Important health information to be sure. Now for some other important health information, but this is for the health of your finances. In the ever-growing world of technology, we're not only seeing great positive strides in online banking, but we're also constantly on alert for nefarious activity. And a great way to protect yourself is by maintaining strong passwords for your online accounts. FindMark Managing Executive Anna Smith tells us how in today's FindMark Minute. Hello, I'm Anna Smith, Managing Executive at FindMark on the Island. In today's FindMark Minute, we are talking about creating strong passwords for our online accounts. Many of you likely have financial and personal information accessible through the web. Given the damage that can happen if someone discovers your username or password, we have a few common sense rules to keep your accounts safe. Never share your username or password. Also, don't make it easy for others to see you entering a password on a computer keyboard, your phone, or ATM pad. Next, 
make sure you're using strong passwords. It should never be a word found in a dictionary. Today's cyber criminals use sophisticated dictionary programs to try and unlock passwords. It's better to use a combination of numbers, upper and lowercase letters, and symbols. And a long password is generally better than a short one. Also, avoid using personal information that may be easy to guess. If you have to write your passwords down to remember them, put them in a safe place, not readily accessible by others. Don't leave them on your desk next to your computer, and don't keep them on a file stored on your computer or mobile device. And while it's a lot to remember, use different passwords for different accounts. The danger in using the same username and password for everything is, if one account is compromised, all your accounts are at risk. It's a good idea to change your password periodically and change it immediately if you see any suspicious activity on your account. And finally, don't let your guard down. A little common sense can go a long way in protecting you from cyber thieves. The key is to avoid common mistakes and stay on top of things by regularly checking your accounts. If you have any questions about today's topic, call or stop by Finemark Bank on the island. We'd be happy to help you. I'm Anna Smith with today's Finemark Minute. Great advice, Anna. Thank you very much. Now it's time to cover all of today's happenings, Academy News, Menus, and Village Church Connections. Hi, and welcome to the happening segment of Shell Point TV. I'm Bev Chandley, and this is Jill Aldering, and we're going to go over the activities that we offer for you here today at Shell Point. We're going to start with 715 Health Connections class, Bend, Breathe, and Balance, down in the health club on the island. And then at 8 o'clock, the Men's Golf Association will be at the Shell Point Golf Club. At 8 o'clock, we have Round Robin Doubles Tennis down at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. 8.30, we have the Paddlers Club. They'll be meeting at the kayak storage to take off for their weekly paddle. 9.15, we have Shuffleboard at the Shuffleboard Court. We're going to move to 9.30 now with current events. That'll be in the game room of the Woodlands. At 9.30, the ladies' match play will be at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. And lastly, at 9.30, we have Samba, the card game, at the Sable Room of the Woodlands. At 9.45, we have Introduction to Beginning Line Dancing in the Health Club. And at 10 o'clock, it's time for another Health Connections class, Medicare Open Enrollment 2015. That's in the Grand Cypress Room at the Woodlands. 10 o'clock, the Suzy Q heads to Matanzas in for lunch. We round out the morning at 10.15 with Basic Line Dancing in the Health Club. Here's Jill for your afternoon lineup. Thanks. At 12.45, Mahjong can be played in the library lounge. And at 1.15 in the Osprey Room, the Spot Play Readers will be meeting. At 1.30, Health Connections Aqua Pilates Stretch meets in the Aquatic Center on the island. At 2.15, the Photo Club will be meeting in the Social Center. The Seamstress will be in the Osprey Room at 4 o'clock. That is a weekly service. And at 4.30, Alcoholics Anonymous will be meeting in the Sable Room at the Woodlands. 6.30, you can play Pinochle in the Library Lounge. And we conclude our day at 7 o'clock with the Trail Blazers Bible Study Group. They meet in the Game Room at the Woodlands. That wraps up our Thursday activities. Make it a great day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Hello, I'm Terry Koleff with your Academy information for Thursday. At 9.15, how to protect your personal information will begin in the computer teaching center on the island. Sign up is required. At 1 o'clock, our Mahjong Basics class will begin in the second floor country kitchen of the arbor for those who signed up. Tomorrow, we have a new class with Terry Schultz of Sundial. She'll teach Quicken. Menus for Thursday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is braised beef short ribs with Yukon gold potatoes and asparagus. The dinner special is the crystal carving board for $13.95, and the soup of the day is potato leek. In the Island Cafe for lunch, the special is a turkey club with fries for $7.25. The dinner special is Thai night for $8.25. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill are grilled New York strip for $18.95, or baby back ribs for $13.95. 
All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Hi, Randy Woods at the Village Church as I serve as Minister of Worship and Music for the last 12 years. It's my privilege to work with the church staff and the leadership to work and plan and present an inspirational concert series that has become known as the Season of Praise. And we're about to begin the 2014-15 Season of Praise as we celebrate God's continuing work of literally and figuratively renewing and refreshing His church. As the building renovation work is concluded, the church continues to experience God's renewing and refreshing as we worship together. And, as in the past, the inspirational concerts and worship celebrations are part of the ongoing ministry of our church. As residents and friends join together each week, the worship services and opportunities to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord abound and provide spiritual renewal and refreshment. So, as we begin the season of praise with singers, drama, solo and ensemble instrumentalists, pianists, organists, a brass band, orchestra and choirs, the Village Church is prepared for a mixture of inspirational experiences to highlight the 2014-15 Season of Praise concert series. It's really a joy for me to partner and to present guest artists who encourage and inspire us with their artistic expressions of faith. The concert series will begin on Sunday, December 7th with a festive Christmas celebration. This year, we are welcoming back gifted composer, pianist, arranger, Joel Rainey, along with organist Jane Holstein. Joel and Jane are on staff at Hope Publishing Company. Jane serves as as an editor, and Joel is a writer-arranger. Together as pianist and organist, they will be presenting special music throughout the day, but uh, with the choir, we are especially happy to have the opportunity to bring them back, knowing that five years ago, we first premiered a work that Joel has specifically written for our church choir. This musical is entitled A Thrill of Hope. It is a dynamic retelling of the Christmas story divided into four parts, hope, love, peace, and joy. And for each of the sections, Joel has crafted a musical medley packed with an amazing array of familiar carols and original music, which uh, sing of the major themes of Advent and Christmas. It'll be a joy to have them back as well as instrumentalists in the orchestra as we ring the bells, play the horns and the strings, and celebrate the Christmas season together. And then, in January, we begin the new year, 2015, with Tim Zimmerman and the King's Brass. Their concert is on Sunday, January 11th. As always, their concert will include classic hymn arrangements with a contemporary flair, featuring three trumpets, three trombones, a tuba, percussion, and keyboards, lots of levity, some classic music, as well as inspirational and patriotic selections. We know that it will be a creative time of innovative worship that will be enjoyed by everyone. And then in February, we'll be doing something that is refreshingly different. And that phrase describes the ministry of the dramatic presentation entitled, My Name is Daniel. This production is produced by three actors known as Theater for the Thirsty. The ministry specializes in music-infused, funny, thought-provoking, soul-stirring, imaginative theater. Through this presentation, you'll be entertained and completely challenged in your faith as you watch this popular Bible story come to life. We look forward to this presentation in February. And then, in March... With Spring in the Air, we will welcome the Amasi Trio from New York. The Amasi Trio is led by Dr. Tammy Lum. She and her colleagues are professors of music at Nyack College and perform with ensembles throughout the New York metropolitan area. Since the inception of the group in the early 90s, the group has performed throughout the world, and their program will be a presentation of repertoire from the Western and Asian classic sacred literature. It's going to be a very inspiring presentation by this fine trio. And then for Easter Sunday, as we conclude the Season of Praise concert series, our Resurrection Celebration will feature the music of Diane Bish. Diane Bish is internationally known for her television program, The Joy of Music. She's the finest organist that I know. 
And as she has come to Shell Point many times in the past, it will be our privilege to have her with us again for, e for our Easter celebration. As Diane has come to Shell Point many times in the past, it will be a joy for us to have her back for our Easter celebration. So we invite you to get your tickets to be part of the Season of Praise concert series. As we present the concerts, just remind you that all the concerts require the purchase of a non-refundable $10 ticket. Tickets will be available at the church office beginning Monday, November 3rd. Tickets are also available online at shellpoint.org forward slash season of praise. It's going to be a great season. For more information, feel free to call the church office at 454-2147. We look forward to seeing you and celebrating God's goodness throughout the season of praise as we join together. We're glad you joined us for today's show. Tune in tomorrow for some very important information that you need to know about Medicare Part D for 2015. Until then, this is Shell Point Today for Thursday, October 2nd. I'm Josh Milton, and for all of us here at Shell Point TV, we hope you have a great day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.